Yaskawa. <laughs> You are watching the What's New with Motionworks IC3 video series. In this video, I'm going to give an overview of what has been added to support HMI tag integration and how it is used with a simple project. Hi, I am Micah Studeman. Here's a quick preview. Motionworks IC3 simplifies the HMI setup by allowing the variables to be exported to the HMI software or imported from the HMI software. It is easy to set up and with a push of a button, the variables are transferred. Let's look at this in more detail using a project I have prepared. Here is a diagram of the example system. To use the HMI variable import export functionality, the HMI needs to be the Modbus TCP master and the MPIC controller needs to be the slave. This is already set up in the Modbus section of the hardware configuration. Maple Systems EasyWare software is used to simulate the HMI. I also created variables in Motionworks IEC that are connected to Modbus TCP addresses to communicate with the HMI. On the right side of the configuration window, you will see where the HMI import export functionality can be enabled. To enable it, just click on the checkbox next to the HMI tag import export text. The manufacturer and model selection shows the supported HMI models. I'm going to use the Maple System HMI with the EasyWare Plus software. The location box shows where the output CSV file is going to be written. I'm going to save the output file to my desktop. It is important to take note of the resource name because that needs to be set in the HMI software. This allows the exported or imported HMI tags to be referenced correctly. When this is complete, I will save the configuration. I can export the HMI variables to HMI tags by pressing the Export MWIAC Variables to HMI Tags button in the Hardware Configuration toolbar. This creates a CSV file that contains the variables along with the Modbus addresses that were created from the local addresses that were set in the Global Variables list. To make sure that the variables are included in the file, check that the local addresses were set to all of the variables. I need to make sure that the slave device name in the EasyWare Plus software is the same as the resource name that is in the hardware configuration. Any HMI that is used will have a similar setting. Now I can go to the tag screen and import the HMI tag CSV that I had exported from Motionworks IC3. As you can see, all of the variables were imported. I can attach my buttons and dials to the HMI tags. With the tags being linked to the buttons, I can run the HMI program and see the variables in the HMI are linked to the variables in Motionworks IC3. So if I press the upper left button in debug mode in Motionworks IC3, I will see the HMI to control underscore bit variable change from false to true. Also, if I set the control to HMI underscore int variable to 50, I will see that the analog dial is pointing to 50. Now what if the variables were created initially in the HMI software? The process would then be performed in reverse. The tags would be exported from the HMI software into a CSV file and then imported using the import HMI tags to MWIC variables button into Motionworks IC, which adds them to the global variables list. They can then be used in the MPIC program. It is important to remember that the controller needs to be set up as the Modbus slave and that the HMI tag import export selection is chosen. The resource name should also be set to the same name that was used in the HMI software. Now you may be wondering why this function is needed, and in truth, for the example project, it wasn't because there were only a few variables. But let's say that our project had upwards of 100 to 200 variables. Each variable and address would have to be added into both the HMI software and Motionworks IAC. With the import export functionality, time needed to set up the HMI is cut in half which results in less time being spent creating variables and addressing them. Thanks for watching this video. Go to yaskawa.com slash IECSW to download the latest version of Motionworks IC3 and try out these features yourself with the 30-day demo.